and girls, welcome to the Tulsa Zoo. We are going to be learning about zookeepers and zoo animals this week. I hope you enjoy this field trip. I will see you here in a bit. This is the, one of the Tulsa Zoo's giraffes and they are taken care of by zookeeper Joel. We got to ask Joel, what are the important skills you need to be a zookeeper? He said you need to be self-motivated, communicative, hardworking, and a good teammate. We also got to ask Doral what kind of schooling or training did he do before he became a zookeeper. He said after high school he obtained his bachelor's degree in environmental conservation biology. He also volunteered as a docent here at the Tulsa Zoo. Once his degree was obtained, he did an internship in what is now the Wildlife Trust Department. And after time in the Wildlife Trust area, he worked as a contact yard keeper part-time before becoming a full-time keeper in the hoofstock area. And the giraffe is part of that hoofstock family. So we got to ask, we also got to ask Joral what he does for the giraffes and he said his daily tasks include cleaning all their yards and barns, feeding them balanced diets, and working towards a variety of training goals. He provides them enrichment devices such as hanging boomer balls so they can forage using their tongues through the holes to obtain their food. They also cut large branches from trees that they enjoy for an opportunity to browse. We asked Joral, what can you tell us about the giraffes? He says, giraffes are so cool. They are the tallest land animal in the world. And they only sleep for 30 minutes a day. Can you imagine if we could function on only 30 minutes of sleep? We also asked how giraffes stay cool in the summer. He said giraffes stay cool by having long legs, necks, and ears. This allows their bodies to dissipate heat much easier since they have increased their surface area. We also asked what is the most amazing thing you have learned from the giraffes? He says their giraffes are ambassadors that have taught him that they are all very much individuals with their own preferences reactions and feelings. Look, they have to treat each giraffe completely different from each other. Where one giraffe may like one food, another may not. He says it's his job every day to read each one's behavior so that they can provide the animal with the best environment and choices every day. nothing sticks out as the least but she does get poison ivy a lot and she really does not like that we also asked her why she became a zookeeper and she said she loved animals and originally she wanted to be a vet but she wanted to spend a lot more time with the animals instead of just seeing them and helping them feel better and sending them home We also got to ask zookeeper Lexi what she could tell us um, what she does for the elephants and she said everything. She said her main job as a keeper is to make sure that the animals in our, in our care are safe, healthy, and happy. So each day the elephants get a visual look over. Um, they get fed and they get a bath every day. Mm -hmm. They do perform medical, necessary medical training or treatment for the day. Um, and they also get their vitamins, they get their toenails trimmed, 
and they get their special diet. Zookeeper Lexi also says that she does a lot of record keeping for the elephants um, so that that way they can monitor their health and behavior over time. And she said they clean the habitat and um, where the animals, where the elephants sleep and stay. So their inside habitat, their outside habitat um, on a daily basis. We also asked zookeeper Lexi um, what else she could tell us about the elephants and she said she wished that she that more people knew um, that elephants may be extinct in our lifetime. Um, currently she said the Asian elephant, the species that we have here at the Tulsa Zoo, the biggest threat for them um, is their habitat loss. So they're they're losing part of their home. We also got to ask zookeeper Lexi um, what her favorite part about working with elephants is. And she said that she loves the challenge they give her both physically and mentally every day. And working with elephants is everything that she thought it would be and more. Look how long her trunk is. Hi boys and girls, we are at Sea Lion Cove and we're going to get to watch Cisco and Reyes do some of their enrichment trainings. We got to ask zookeepers Lisa and Haley some questions about what they do and about Cisco and Reyes. So we asked zookeeper Lisa, what does a zookeeper do? And zookeeper Lisa says a zookeeper provides care for the animals living at the zoo by preparing and feeding their diets, cleaning both the animals living spaces as well as service areas. They provide training and enrichment for the animals and keep very detailed records of their care. They share their knowledge of the animals in the in their care with guests that visit the zoo so they can learn all about them. We also ask her what is the most enjoyable thing about being a zookeeper and zookeeper Lisa says that she really enjoys getting to know the animals that she works with and she loves to build a strong bond with them. She feels like sometimes she knows the animals better than she knows herself and her favorite way to spend time with the animals and to build that bond is by training them. She said it is very rewarding when they learn something new and they seem to enjoy it. Cisco is the sea lion here closest to the front and Reyes is the one closest to the back. We had a chance to ask zookeeper Haley some questions about the sea lions and herself and Haley says that she's one of three sea lion keepers there at the Tulsa Zoo and their job is to take the very best care of the California sea lions and their habitats every day. She said they prepare their diets every morning by sorting through about 30 pounds of fish and picking out the best ones to feed the sea lions. Both of their sea lions are currently eating about 13 pounds of fish each each day so they divide that up into four buckets for each of them and they use those fish treats primarily for their training sessions and they also stuff some in some of their toys that they get to play with. With the four training sessions that they do each day with the sea lions, um, zookeeper Haley said that they give them fish throughout the trainings and that helps build a, a strong positive relationship between them. They learn to trust us so that we can train them not only to do the fun behaviors they do in the shows but also participate in their own health care. Our sea lions have learned how to allow the vets to check them over once a week, walk onto a scale to get weighed two times a week, take their daily vitamins, and open their mouths nice and wide so that they can 
so <clears throat> the vets and zookeepers can look at their teeth and gums and even brush their teeth. The two sea lions were rescued off of the southern coast of California due to some injuries and illnesses they experienced when they were very young. Cisco is the oldest at 10 years old and he was bitten by a shark when he was about two. So he was bitten on the hip which affected his mobility. And Reyes is just about a year younger than Cisco and was found with an infection in both eyes. By the time that the re rehabilitation center found him, it was better to remove his left eye since it was too severely damaged. The Marine Mammal Care Center in Southern California took great care of them. However, they were both deemed non-releasable, which means that they would have a slim chance of surviving in the wild due to their injuries. So they found a great home here at the Tulsa Zoo where we can provide uh, continuous great care for the rest of their lives. One of the special treats that the sea lions really, really like are ice treats, and they get those on special occasions like their birthdays or holidays or when it is really hot outside. Zookeeper Haley says they just add water with some food coloring in it and pour that into some of the many different molds that they have, add some fish, and freeze it for them to enjoy once it's frozen. The sea lions also have many different toys with holes drilled into them so that they can stuff some fish inside. The toy is tossed to them in the water and they get to push it around to get the fish out. Zookeeper Haley says her favorite thing about the sea lions is that they are very curious and smart animals. She said you can also get to see their individual personality shine through when working closely with them during training sessions. It is awesome to build a trusting relationship with them and to be able to teach guests all about the sea lions. Zookeeper Haley says she's very thankful for Cisco and Rhea, Reyes here at being able to be here at the Tulsa Zoo where guests can also enjoy them even though they, we are very far from the California coastline. Hi boys and girls, this is a Malayan tiger and we got to ask zookeeper Anna some questions about Malayan tigers. She says what she does for the Malayan tigers is take care of their daily needs and that includes cleaning and maintaining their exhibits and holding areas, feeding them and making sure they have fresh water every day. She also provides them with daily enrichment to stimulate them both physically and mentally. And she also closely monitors many aspects of the tiger's health, such as their appetite and behavior, and she notifies vet staff if she has any questions or concerns. We asked her what she could tell us about the Malayan tiger, and she said Malayan tigers are found on the Malaya Peninsula and the southern tip of Thailand, and they are the national animal of Malaysia. It is one of the smallest subspecies of tiger. We also got to ask a zookeeper, Anna, what is the most fascinating thing about the Malayan tiger? She said a tiger stripes also appear on its skin and they are excellent swimmers and climbers. Tiger whiskers act as pulse detectors and the white spots on the back of the tiger's ears that are sometimes called eye spots.
and girls, this is called the African Lion. They can weigh anywhere from 270 pounds to 550 pounds. They can be anywhere from 4.7 feet long to 8 feet long. And their lifespan is typically between 8 and 15 years. Hi boys and girls, this is called a snow leopard. We got to ask zookeeper Meredith some questions about the snow leopard. We asked her what does she do for the snow leopards every day and she said she is in charge of their daily care. Each day she provides a nutritionally balanced meal, fresh water, training and enrichment activities. She's also responsible for maintaining the snow leopard habitat at the zoo. We asked her what she can tell us about the snow leopards and she said they are incredible climbers and their tail is almost as long as their entire body. This provides balance to the snow leopards while scaling mountainsides and they also use their tail to wrap around themselves to provide protection from the cold. We also asked zookeeper Meredith how do the snow leopards stay cool in the Oklahoma summers and she said they do quite well in the warm temperatures of Oklahoma. They will shed some of their fur each summer to keep them cooler. Also at the zoo, their snow leopards are always provided access to an air-conditioned indoor habitat if they need to cool off. We asked her what is the most amazing um, thing you've learned from the snow leopards. She said she loves their quirky personalities. Uh, I also love their beautiful fur coats and long tails. Hey everybody, that concludes our trip to the Tulsa Zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to say a big thank you to the Tulsa Zoo and all the zookeepers for allowing us to come learn about zookeepers and the animals that they take care of. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.